Welcome back. It's the third time period of day 1, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And the image just shows the town in general, which is kind of not helpful in figuring out where the game expects us to go. I guess we'll just have to look around. Looks like the moped shop is open. Yeehaw! What was that? Looked like Bukele, maybe. Not certain. Somebody was leaving on a moped. And indeed, it was open from 2. That's what it said on the sign first time we looked there, and it seems to be true. Which is good, I guess. The sign wasn't lying. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves a bike, so we can get around the area. Well, that's the uh, moped that was lying on the floor before. Seems to be getting fixed. What a pathetic excuse for a bag. It is a very nice color, isn't it? Let's hope we can uh, rent a better bike than that. Pre preferably the Harley. Great! They're open! Hey, how you doing? I want to rent a bike. Oui. Your passport, please. Uh, Monsieur Knight, you are not with the tour group? I do not see you on my list. No, nope. I'm on my own. Ah, I am sorry, Monsieur, but most of my fleet is reserved for the tour group. What? I have one little bike left, Monsieur, but she is nothing grand. I show you. Here she is. This piece of crap? Oh, come on. I was kind of hoping for this baby. Ooh, what is this? A WW2 army issue? Oui, but the tour group reservations were made first. It is this little bike, monsieur, or nothing. Well, who gets the Harley? Whoever chooses it first, monsieur. If none of the others want the large bike, you may have it. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna happen. Well, let me know what you decide. Okay, so we want a bike, but not that one, so we're gonna have to find a way to get an, a better bike from this guy. Apparently we could try to shoot him. I don't have a gun. That would be a problem in trying to shoot him. That guy is seriously ruining my day. I'm not gonna be able to charm my way into that Harley. I'll have to think of something else. Well, the guy seems to be a rather nearsighted, the way he was peering at our passport, so... Maybe we can uh, trick him into letting him think that we're someone else, someone who is on the tour group. Or maybe we can bribe him with a candy. I don't think I want to show that to him. Okay. Let's take a look. Seems like Bukeli and Wilkes have already taken out their bikes. That leaves um, Lady Howard and Estelle, Mosley and Monsieur Baza. Mosley is spelled wrong, but anyway. I guess he doesn't know the name. Reservations. Pour le tour de Mademoiselle Buffen, or M. Buffen, I guess it could be from for Madeline, because I think Mademoiselle, you would put some S's behind there. So we're going to have to um, try and imitate one of these people. Lady Howard and Estelle are out by default. I guess Mosley is our best option, perhaps. Maybe we can convince him to trade. Seems unlikely, but whatever. It's a reservation list for the bikes. I'm not on it. Well, I'm not on the reservation list, but I know someone who is. Indeed, that is, um, Mosley. And, oh, I didn't even know you could take the camera inside the shop. It's pointless, but apparently you can. 
And apparently I'm stuck here now. Um, okay, maybe not. All right. Let's see um, Mosley. See if we can get, uh, do something about getting that bike. I guess we uh, either need to convince him to uh, give it to us, give up his spot, which I doubt he's going to do, or we need to impersonate him, for which we at the very least would need his passport. Or we could just steal the bike, you know? It would save a lot of trouble. Hey. The two Brits are here. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Looking at a map, apparently. I noticed y'all moving suitcases around upstairs. Was there a problem with your room? Oh, my, yes. But that wasn't why we moved, Lily. No. Mr. Barza kindly offered to exchange with us. He's a Muslim, you see. Wanting to be facing east and all that. Well, Estelle and I are very much in favour of supporting the cultural differences between us, aren't we, darling? Yes, Lily. And it's a much nicer room. It's larger and has a balcony. Of course, I do appreciate the sacrifice. But then there are two of us and only one of Mr. Barza. And I'm sure he's used to stuffier quarters. Middle Easterners so often are, you see. Yeah, I've uh, heard that. Yeah, so much for her open-mindedness. Somehow, I doubt that that story is entirely true. They're busy map-gazing. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... talk to Mosley. Um... Okay, that's like the most... roundabout way I could have used. Where's Gabriel? Yeah, he's also taking the most roundabout way possible. It seems. Now what is it, Nat? Uh, we can ask him about his passport, it seems. Say... You got a passport, Mose? Right here, doofus. Why? Oh, just want to make sure you keep it on you. You know what they say about hotel rooms in Europe? No. What do they say? Uh, don't leave your passports in them. Right. Well, Maddie already told us to keep them handy, but thanks so much for your concern. Okay. I can't think of anything to talk to Mose about at the moment. Doesn't look like um, we can do much about getting his passport from here. See ya. Yeah, get out of here, you wanker. But maybe we can get him out of his room. Maybe that will present an opportunity. Now, this is part one of one of the most infamous puzzles in this game. This part is already quite, um, weird. Although not as weird as the really most infamous part. The first thing we have to do is get Mosley out of his room. Which we can do by calling him, which only works if Jean is not at the desk. And for some reason, Gabriel likes to walk all the way over there when you do that. And since he has his passport 
on him. Maybe we can find a way to uh, get it from him. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. But he isn't stopping anywhere, so that's kind of a problem. Well, looks like he's going to get a candy. <laughs> he looks confused, doesn't he? <laughs> what a doofus. Oh, it's no good. He's already seen me. And then he goes back upstairs. So, Mosley likes the candies. Hmm. Maybe we can bribe him with a candy. I don't think I want to show that to him. No. Oh, no. You actually can give a candy to him, but I guess you have to do it in his room. Now what is it, Nat? Would you like a candy in exchange for your passport? Want one of these, Moe's? Sure. Thanks. No problem, lard butt. Well, or fat free. See ya. Yeah, get out of here, you wanker. Okay. Well, that was kind of pointless. But he does seem to like those candies a lot. Maybe we can uh, utilize that somehow. We'll first need a new candy. We need to get him to stop somewhere, preferably before he's seen us. So maybe um, if we put the candy on one of these tables. And then call him from the lobby. Yeah, I really don't see how you couldn't figure much of this out without just a lot of trial and error. I could, but maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. All right, all right. Well, he is now. Okay, let's get up there. And... Oh, the candy's already gone. He's already going downstairs. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to... Well, to do some. Well, that's not very helpful, then. There he goes. Getting another candy. He already got one upstairs. Oh, it's no good. He's already seen me. Okay, well, that's not helpful then. Let's try it again, but with different positioning. Good thing we have an infinite supply of candy. He always goes down fr uh, from this side. And if we're not in time to catch him at that table, maybe we can catch him at this table. So, let's try it again. Put the candy down here. I got points for doing that, so I guess it must be on the right track. I could, but maybe I... I keep forgetting to look if, if Jean's there. Okay, there we go. Let's 
go up the other side. Is he already outside? No, Candy is still there. There he comes. He won't be able to see us on this side, I hope. Ah, he's taken the bait. If I could get him to st Let's see. Ooh. That was a lucky break. No, for a cop, he's surprisingly unobservant. Well, we got Mosley's passport. And some people think I give America a bad name. I'm sure he won't mind that. After all, we already stole his wallet in the first game. I don't think he ever even noticed that. Franklin Mosley. I didn't know his first name was Franklin. Mosley's passport. Unfortunately, I don't look a thing like him. That is, it's fortunate most of the time, but it's less than ideal at the moment. Yeah, so we're going to have to find a way to um, cover up the differences between us. We can't uh, look exactly like Mosley, but with that nearsighted clerk, we may be able to um, hide some of the superficial differences. And um, fool him that way. One thing that can definitely help is Mosley's cloak. And since he's out of his room right now, we can go in here. Oh, his cloak is coat, I meant. Um, yeah, that's believable. Now, that is what we in the industry call hanging a lampshade on I it. I better get out of here before Mount Everest returns. No, oh, and that happens automatically. Okay, so now we've got his passport and his coat. But there are a couple of other things to uh, take care of. For one thing, we obviously have quite a lot more hair than Mosley. We'll have to find a way to cover that up. But maybe we can uh, think of a way to deal with that, other than cutting our hair, which I'm sure Gabriel wouldn't want. Now, if you remember, we saw a hat in the museum that Gabriel said he thought was something that uh, Mosley would wear. Let's look at the coat, actually. It's Mosley's gold Caldwell Banker-style blazer. He's had this since the Saturday Night Fever premiere. Well, that's quite a while. The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a Mosley look, I'm going to have to put some stuff with it. Well, hopefully that hat is uh, an option, and hopefully the real owner of the hat won't come around the museum later and wonder where it went. Come on. Still don't know what any of those paintings have anything to do with anything. It looks like a lost and found box. Somebody lost a hat. Hmm, I suppose this hat might be useful after all. Could be, could be. It's the hat from the museum's lost and found. I know what you're thinking, but I might need it. I'm not really a hat person myself. That's more like something Mosley would wear. Well, that's exactly the point. Can we put it together with the... 
coat. Yes, there we go. That outfit looks pathetically Mosley like, but my face is still way too good looking. Yeah. Here comes the part everybody loves. And that everybody knows about, even if they don't uh, know the rest of this game, it seems. The thing is, the um, next thing we need in order to complete this disguise is a mustache. This is obvious to everyone, because after all, mostly doesn't have a mustache, so why would, wouldn't we need one? And apparently you do need one. Um, of course, since the passport picture has no moustache on it, that's something we'll have to correct, and I think that can be done using the uh, marker. That's better. The moustaches should help disguise the obvious disparity between his face and mine. Unfortunately for Mose, things aren't quite that simple in real life. Yeah, okay, well now that we've done that, it is a bit more obvious that we need a moustache. So obviously we uh, go to a fun shop somewhere and buy one. But it just so happens there is no fun shop in this town. So we have to find a different way to get a moustache. And the first step on that path is to go to the cemetery. Where we see Abbe Arnaud is watering his plants. Looks like Arnaud has a green thumb. And he left and left the spritzer behind. It's for a worthy cause. No, oh, you can't even look at it. Whatever. With the spritzer in hand, we will leave the cemetery. And go to the end of this alley. Where previously we have seen a cat. The cat, when we tried to pet it, ran through this hole, and it was quite a tight squeeze, as Gabriel observed. And this is how we are going to get the hair for the moustache. What we need to do, again, this is all quite obvious, is take the um, tape and put it on the hole. Hmm, that's a tight squeeze, but the cat hasn't left any fur behind on those boards. He might, though, with a little help. At least that gives you some indication of what you should be doing. Or at least that you might need to fur for something, even if you aren't yet on the moustache path. And trying everything is usually what one does in an adventure game if you're stuck, so... The next step is to get the cat to run under there again. But we couldn't reach him. Ah, I can't get up there. I kind of like that squeezing through the hole bit. I wonder if I could get him to do it again. We can, but not by patting him, because we can't reach, and that is where the spritzer come in, comes in. That's a, that part at least is logical, I guess. <coughs> Poor cat. Well, that did seem to uh, do the trick, even though the cat didn't like it, which I object to. The cat ran through there pretty tight. It worked! Okay. Now we've got some cat hair. 
I think that'll pass for a black mustache, but it's not going to stay on my lip without help, despite my intense animal magnetism. Can't we just dress up as a priest? That bit was so much easier. Okay, um, so it seems the tape is only sticky on one side, and that's the side with the hair, so we're going to need to ha have some help sticking it to our lip. Well, glue isn't going to work, it would be a bit too strong. We need something that is sticky, but not um, too sticky, like the maple syrup. It's a black mustache. Sort of. It's crude, but it just might work. Yeah. Well, let's put it together. Now that's a Mosley outfit. Tacky, touristy, moronic. It's perfect. If anybody sees me in this thing, I'll have to leave town immediately. Right. Well, that made perfect sense, didn't it? I mean, really, what were they thinking with this? The fact that you have to get a moustache is extremely vague. Because, like I said, the person we're trying to impersonate doesn't actually have a moustache. And then the way in which you need to get it, the only way you could ever possibly find this out is by pure random chance. There is, as far as I can tell, no logical sequence of steps that you can follow that leads you here. There's not even any clear uh, hints for it. I mean, at least maybe if there was something that Gabriel said in the Think icon on the passport about getting some facial hair or something, or earlier something about getting hairs for the... With the cat squeezing through there, or some kind of hint somewhere that would have indicated that this was what you're supposed to do, but there's nothing. And it's just stupid. Incredibly stupid. In defense of the game um, designers, they did not uh, want to do this. Everybody on the game team thought that this was a stupid puzzle, and they all hated it. What Jane Jensen actually wanted to do, I don't know. What I do know is that uh, it turned out to be too complicated for time limitations or uh, technical limitations. They could not accomplish it, and they came up with this as a compromise. Everybody hated it, but they did not have the time to come up with anything better. Yeah, well, at least we've got that over with, and... Um, I'm happy to say that most of the puzzles in this game are quite a lot better than this. Well, we'll have to see if that outfit works in the next video.